I'm Dave Cathy, the food dude, and I'm in the mood for cocktails. Why? Because it's spring, the sun is out, the weather's warm, it's time to curl up to a nice cold one. Beer, cocktails, you name it. We're here at Republic Gastropub where you can get either one of those things in a pretty spectacular environment. We're here with Jason Ewald, he's going to show us how he makes a classic margarita and then a little something special they make only here at Republic. Let's see what he has to say. Welcome to Republic Gastro Pub. I'm Jason Ewald, and today I'm going to make a couple of springtime warm weather cocktails, starting with most likely the most popular North American cocktail, the margarita. So to start, I've got a glass already chilling with ice. Pairing the glass first means that we don't over dilute the drink once we've started to make it. I'm also going to make a salted rim, but it's very important with a salted rim not to overdo it. You only want about a third to a half of the rim to have salt on it so that the person drinking the drink can choose how much they have. Now, the margarita was uh, first created back in the 1930s, and there are no fewer than a dozen people who claim credit for either creating it or refining it. Uh, but what is certain about it is that it's based on three ingredients. Uh, tequila, preferably a nice Blanco tequila, uh, a sweetener or liqueur, most commonly Cointreau, a Curacao liqueur. Uh, we're gonna use an agave sweetener instead today, and then fresh lime juice. Sometimes that's substituted out, and that's always a mistake. So first let's start with our lime. Use a little hand press. And I'm gonna measure out one ounce of lime juice. A little OXO cup makes it really easy to do this. And that's right at an ounce of lime. Put that into our mixing tin. Second ingredient, agave nectar simple syrup. Now agave nectar is a, a product that you can buy at your local grocer and then you just cut it by one part water. So just get some water hot, dissolve the agave nectar into it equal volumes and you've got your agave nectar simple syrup. Once again, we're gonna do one ounce of that into our OXO cup and into the tin. And lastly, the most important ingredient is a really nice tequila. For a, for a, a margarita of, of this style, we're omitting the Cointreau because we really want to uh, showcase the tequila that we're using, the agave character. And you get that best in a Blanco, and we're gonna use by popular demand Patron. Patron Silver. And that's two ounces. Into our mixing tin. Healthy scoop of ice. And a good shake. So it's always a mistake to undershake a drink. Now I'm gonna quickly strain this. A lot of people like some ice shards in their margarita. So with a drink like this, you have a couple of options. You've got your Boston strainer. You've also got a fine strainer. If I want to, I can pour right through this and remove those ice shards. But I'm gonna go ahead and opt to have them this time. And finally, I'm going to garnish. Finally, I'm going to garnish with a lime wheel. And there you have it, a platinum margarita. Uh, for our second drink, we're going to do a house specialty. It's a cider sangria uh, found in our new beer cocktail section. It's technically a wine cocktail because uh, cider is actually pear wine, uh, at least pear cider is. Um, so we start off with getting our glass ready again. Since it's a sangria, it really makes sense to use a little bit of fresh fruit in the bottom. I'm just gonna take a, an orange slice, drop it in, I'm gonna get a bar cherry. We use a black bar cherry. And I'm gonna muddle that just really gently. One thing about muddling, you, you don't have to kill it. You just wanna kind of release some of the oils, make sure that the juices are coming out. Barely press that down, that's good. It's now ready to mix the drink and I've got my mixing tin. This drink calls for a quarter ounce of three ingredients to start. One is Pinot Grigio. Now you could use any white wine as long as it's light and fruity. You wouldn't want something heavy and oaky like a, like a big oaky Chardonnay. A quarter ounce of that. Quarter ounce of Amaretto and almond liqueur. And 
and a quarter ounce of Cointreau liqueur. Last ingredient is Whiter's Pear Cider. You can use any pear cider you find at the store. Uh, I might recommend uh, getting a couple different ones, making the, the drink the same way with the other ingredients and then figuring, figuring out what your favorite is. There's Ace Pear Cider, Whiter's Pear Cider, uh, several of them on the market. This is a five ounce measure already and that's how much I need. And I'm just gonna gently roll these ingredients. There's no ice in here. The point is just to combine the ingredients well. So just a nice roll. It's ready to pour up. Fill my glass with ice. And just fill it to about right there. Give it a little shake, put a straw in it. There you have it, cider sangria. Dynamite.